super refreshing, really nice and sweet. I've got a bowl of frozen berries, mixed berries, blueberries, all different berries if you wish. I do like the mulberry, I've got mulberry in there as well. Frozen, it doesn't have to be frozen, especially if you're in the colder climates, you might want just room temperature. Coconut water, a glass, or you can just have water. But I'm really, really enjoying the sweetness of coconut water. Oh, look at this goodness. of this look how beautiful this is wow <laughs> mm. metal straws I like the, the fatter one in case I want a really thick smoothie and then a thinner metal straw good for the environment oh that is so delicious mm -mm 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 -mm. So we're going to do the sunshine smoothie which is really refreshing, really nice for that summer feel even if you're not in the tropics it really brings that mood up because it's super sweet, super juicy, really delicious. So we're going to use a cup of, you can use a bowl, I think it's quite, quite a lot of fruit. So a bowl of mangoes, I did put a handful of blueberries and then another handful for just the topping on the top of the, on the smoothie. Uh, so pop that in. And then a large bowl, so perhaps two cups, so double the amount of the mango. And then just a cup of coconut water, or you can just use water. I'm really enjoying that sweet taste of the coconut water. Let's blend. calories because my way of living my lifestyle is not about calorie counting so you'll never generally see me putting in it's this amount of calories because when you're raw or high raw and a lot coming from your fruit then we really don't need to be concerned about calories because it burns differently in the body mm, look at that that is amazing. This is literally sunshine in a glass. Mm. Mm, so nice. coconut milk. This one's high fat if you're really craving that strong heavy smoothie. Half a cup of peanuts, two dates, pitted dates, and one heaped tablespoon of cacao. Silly me, I forgot the bananas. Two frozen bananas. Creamy, chocolatey, 
peanutty. Just delicious, especially when you've got that extra sweet, wanting to something a bit fatty without it being unhealthy. The perfect treat. Really, really delicious. Mm. Let's do the Chocolicious Smoothie. Delicious bananas, three to five frozen bananas, always in our base generally, because the filling, if you just want something more light, then use mangoes or other fruits, but this is just three ingredients, less the better for digestion, but when you're transitioning, you can have other ingredients. One heaped spoon of, tablespoon of cacao, and then a glass of coconut water or just water. texture, the consistency, not as thick, then put more water, more coconut water in. As you can see, I like mine thick. Mm -hmm. So this tastes chocolatey and creamy. Mm. With that banana, it just goes so well. blueberry love so we're gonna use the staple frozen bananas between three five six and tell you to yourself I use always frozen bananas get them really ripe so they're all like stuck together right now so I'll just break them up a little bit just so it doesn't get too trapped in the smoothie maker there we go and then we have Blueberries, so just two ingredients. If you want to use some coconut water, we've got some coconut water as well. So I'm just going to put half, half a bowl of blueberries and a little bit of fresh coconut water. Eyeball half a cup, perhaps tiny amount, or just normal water. I'm in Thailand, so we can get the fresh coconut. So I'm very blessed. Um, but yeah, water. I've always used water in the past when I was in England. There we go. Here we go, here we go. Oh, if you don't want it as thick, you can add more coconut water or just water. And this will make it a lot thinner for you. Mm. So delicious, creamy, fruity and cold, nice and refreshing. Mm. Be, feel and stay rollicious.